Hello everyone. Today we are going to find all the solutions of the floor value of 2x is equal 3 times the fractional value of x minus 1, which is the fractional value of x is divided by x minus the floor of x. The idea to solve this equation is pretty simple. As we can see, the left hand side of this equation is an integer. So, the right hand side should be an integer. We can observe that the value of the fractional value of x is between 0 and 1. So, the value of the right hand side is between minus 1 and 2. Then we can conclude that the all possibilities of the value of the right hand sides are minus 1, 0, or 1. And then we will solve for each cases. Let me show you how it is done. First, we will consider the value of the right hand side of the equations. By the definitions of the floor value of x, we already know that x is between the floor value of x and the floor value of x plus 1. From here, we know that x minus the floor value of x is between 0 and 1. And this quantity is the fractional value of x times by 3 and subtracted by 1, we have the right hand side of the equation is between minus 1 and 2. Since the right hand side is an integer, then all the possibilities of the right hand side is minus 1, 0, or 1. Let's consider all of the three cases. For the first cases, this equality is equivalent with the fractional value of x is equal 0, which means x is an integer so the floor value of x is equal x times by 2 we have 2x is equal 2 times the floor value of x since 2 times the floor value of x is an integer then the floor value of 2x is equal 2x substitute this value into the equation 1 we have 2x is equal minus 1 so we have x is equal minus 1 over 2. Since we know that x is an integer, then this value is not possible. For the second case, this equality is equivalent with the fractional value of x is equal 1 over 3. Which means x is equal the floor value of x plus 1 over 3 times by 2 we have 2x is equal to 2 times the floor value of x plus 2 over 3. Since the largest value that less than or equal to x is 2 times the floor value of x, then the floor value of 2x is equal to 2 times the floor value of x. Substitute this value into the equation 1. We have 2 times the floor value of x is equal 0 which means the floor value of x is equal 0. Since we have x is equal the floor value of x plus 1 over 3, then we have x is equal 1 over 3. And for the third case, this equality is equivalent with the fractional value of x is equal to 2 over 3, which means x is equal the floor value of x plus 2 over 3 times by 2, we have 2x is equal to 2 times the floor value of x plus 4 over 3. And here we write 4 over 3 as 1 plus 1 over 3. Since the largest integer that less than or equal to x is 2 times the floor value of x plus 1, then we have the floor value of 2x is equal to 2 times the floor value of x plus 1. Substitute this value into the equation 1, we have 2 times the floor value of x plus 1 is equal 1. Then we have the floor value of x is equal 0. And since we have x is equal the floor value of x plus 2 over 3, then we have x equal 
2 over 3 and we can check these two values of x are satisfying the equation 1. So all the solutions are x is equal 1 over 3 and x is equal 2 over 3. And we are done.